All right, so for today's video, I went around asking truck drivers, experienced truck drivers, new truck drivers, and just basically what their mental was, what their aha moment was when it came to backing up, and some things that I took away from the conversation. So if you guys have an opportunity to watch the whole video, that will be after this video. But I know a lot of people don't have time, so I appreciate you even clicking on the video. So this is the short version that just gives you kind of a recap of all the things that they talked about. And some of these might work for you, they might not, but hey, we're always having problems with backing up and I'm just here to help. Hopefully this helps, but watch the rest of the damn video if you have an opportunity, please. So basically, this is my eighth season as a owner operator and I'm letting you know that I have problems backing up all the time, okay? This is something that is going to be a struggle and a challenge for you for the rest of your life in your trucking career. So I don't want you to think that if you just started, if you're in school and you just came out, you're frustrated, you're wondering why you're not getting this. I'm telling you, it takes time and it takes practice. Now with that said, let's get into the tricks and tips and a couple of things that I think might help you out. All right, people, so a big no-no in backing up for anybody is you don't want to open up your door. If you go to truck stops, you're gonna see a lot of truck drivers. I don't know what they're thinking, but they open up their door. Now, the reason why that's dangerous is naturally, before you start backing up, you always take off your seatbelt. Because when you're looking back, it's kind of hard to look back with your seatbelt on. So naturally you unclick your seatbelt off. So if your your seatbelt is already off and then you have your door open, there is a big chance that you could fall out. So do not open the door, okay? That can be very dangerous. A big no-no is people don't go out and look. I know sometimes it seems like it's just an easy backup and you could get right into that hole, but you know what? Sometimes there can be someone behind you and you might not notice. You might be looking somewhere else and they could be right behind you parked there. Four wheelers do it all the time. I've had a motorcycle do that to me. I almost ended the guy, but good thing I went out and I looked again and I saw him there. Oh my God, it was so scary. But another big no-no, people are too confident out here, man. We're professional drivers. When you can't see, Get out of the damn truck and love. Okay, so the biggest advice that I would have before we get into the advice that other people have given, take your time and don't let people pressure you. I'm letting you know right now that you're gonna feel pressured, people are gonna honk at you, and no, it's not always four wheelers, it's gonna be your very own. It's gonna be truck drivers that are tired, that wanna park really fast, that wanna get a parking spot before someone steals it, and now they're just honking at you, they're rolling their eyes and you're feeling pressured and next thing you know, what do you do? You hit another damn truck. Don't do that. Relax, relax, relax. Do what you need to do and you know what? If you're struggling, ask another truck driver. Ask that guy that's rolling his eyes to help you because you know what? If he doesn't, then you're gonna be here all damn day, you heard? A great tip that I got from one of these interviews was don't be scared. You need to have your mental right. Don't be scared to back up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go for it. You gotta know in your mind that you can do it. Because if you don't, you're gonna be like one of those drivers that's been driving for 25 years and still scared to back up and they just find themselves having problems their whole trucking career. Don't be scared. Have a positive attitude. And if you feel scared, then don't definitely do not back up if you feel scared. You should always feel aware and always concerned about your surroundings, but not nervous at the point where you're gonna make a big mistake. You have to be positive and know that you're, just have big kahunas and just damn do it, man. You can do this, I'm telling you. So go in with a good mental and a positive attitude and you could do this, man. One of the biggest tips that people were giving me as advice was find a landmark. Find a crack on the ground, not crack cocaine, not crack head like a crack on the street, like crack on the road, a piece of gum, an oil spot, I mean something so that you could kind of eyeball 
your back trailer wheels and use it as a landmark. And they made a joke. A lot of them were making a joke saying that if there was open space and no landmarks to gauge, they could never get that trailer into a hole. So as they're driving up and they see the dock or they see a parking spot, they'll find either the parking spot lines. If there are no lines, then they look at a garbage can. They use some sort of landmark to help them back up. One advice that I really liked during my interview was you're turning your wheel too much. In school, they teach you to crank the wheel all the way over and then crank the wheel all the way back. I'm telling you right now, you are turning the wheel too much. The reason why is because when we first start trucking, for some reason, when we think about backing up, we think of it as a four wheeler, like our car, like one solid unit, right? So here's the thing, you're backing up the trailer, you're not backing up the tractor. So you have to remember that. It doesn't matter what your tractor is doing, it matters what your trailer is doing. You're pushing your trailer in, okay? So that's kind of like a aha moment that helped me in my career and hopefully it helps you. But definitely, you are turning your wheel too much, just very small turns and take it slow and watch the trailer because that's the thing you're pushing in, not your tractor. Now, one advice that a driver talked about was distance and space, but I'm telling you that's like master level, okay? I'm still learning distance and space. Basically, you need to know the distance and space of where you're at and where your trailer's at. And it takes a lot of time to really know it. But once you get a good idea of the distance and space of the rig that you're driving, you're gonna have no problem. Overall, practice, practice, practice. Practice doesn't make perfect, but it does make better, especially in the world of trucking and backing up. But the more you practice, you're just gonna get better in judging your distance and space, your angles, you're gonna get better at just, it's just gonna get easier, okay? But you're still gonna have to get out and look, all right? Get out and look. You're gonna have a better idea of using landmarks so that you can back up. And as you get better, you're gonna simultaneously do all these things at one time and not even know that you're doing it. But don't get cocky, always look. And take your time and you're gonna be just fine. Watch the rest of the video if you want. It's just a conversation that I'm having with drivers. So it's taking out the pieces of what they're saying, but those are the tips and tricks and some of the no-nos too. You know, to this day, they say like public speaking is the scariest thing to do. And I will tell you this, walking up to random truck drivers as a sexy Asian man is very scary, very scary, because they probably think I'm sort of male prostitute or lot lizard, and I don't deny it. I, I've been doing my push-ups, but I'll take the embarrassment, and I don't care. If, if it's gonna help you guys, I'll do it, I'll go up to people, but let's try to go up to some new truck drivers, some experienced truck drivers and just truck drivers in general and see what they have to say about this whole backing up thing. I know they're probably looking at me crazy because I have this tripod and I'm just looking like I'm talking to myself, but let's see. What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. So, as a new truck driver, your biggest physical challenge is going to be backing up. And I'm a new guy myself. I've been an owner operator now. This is my eighth season, but I'm not good at backing up. I've had a couple of aha moments where the, the light just pops on and I figure some tricks out. But I would say the biggest advice that I could tell you as a new truck driver is if you're just unsure you just gotta get out. You gotta check. You gotta check a thousand times. You just gotta check. And you can't let people pressure you because I've had that feeling where 
guys are, I feel like they're rolling their eyes, they're on their CB radios talking shit about me having a hard time backing up, but you know what? If I hit their truck, I'm the one that gets in trouble. My scores go down. I'm the one that has to deal with that. So that's the advice that I would say is the biggest, but let's see what other truck drivers have to say because they might have some advice that might work for you. Let's ask. Hey, on a side note, I just see a family right there getting out of a truck like, uh, what's it like? That's a whole lot of people getting out of a truck, but you know what? It's a family thing. Okay, this guy looks like he's doing a backing up. Um, he basically pulled up and now he's just pulling straight back. So he didn't do a, a blind side, he didn't do a right side, he didn't do a 45 degree. He just went into the parking spot, saw a hole, and then he just basically drove around. And now um, he's just straight backing in. There is a lot of space right there. I don't know why he doesn't just uh, drive up all the way and get completely straight, but I think he is. He's only been at this for the last five seconds, so, you know. But let's see. So that's probably, besides driving into a parking spot, that's probably the easiest way to get into a, a parking spot and backing up, is just seeing a hole and then just driving up, imagining like you're going to a fuel aisle being straight back to the parking spot and backing up, but he's making it difficult for himself. I don't know what it is, but yeah, he's making it harder than it seems, but that's okay. I'm going to keep on walking. Just what uh, it's, it's facing me. It's not facing you. So, um, so ma'am, how many, how many years of driving have you been doing this? 20, but you look like you're 20, you're like 25 years old. So you've been, so you've been on the road uh, for over what, 21 years about doing this, off and on. But so backing, what's, what's like a good advice? Um, a lot of people, when they search for the advice, the number one advice that they always get is go out and look, which is great advice. But is there any, other advice that you could give that because that's all they're getting when they search in YouTube and stuff is uh, go out and look. But you know what? They're going out and looking, they're still hitting stuff, you know? So, so judging like, uh, like almost visually, like imagining where the truck is without seeing it. Get a good idea where that truck is going, that trailer is going to know uh, where you got to push the trailer past the point so when you pull up you're straight with the dog. So but you got to know how far to do that and you got to know how far to back it up without hitting on either side of the trailer. So you're definitely talking about having uh, aware of the distance, just knowing your truck and trailer very well, right? Yeah. And being able to visualize the line of where your trailer is going. But how do they get to that point? What do they need to do? What, what are your thoughts? Experience? Experience? Don't, don't avoid trying to back between trucks. Don't avoid, don't try to take two parking spots and back in the middle parking spot. Back beside somebody because you need judging better. You can sit here and have four open parking spots and never hit the parking spot. So you're saying using another truck, kind of like a landmark, is more helpful than backing up into four spaces that are empty. Your trailer might be doing this the whole time, right? When I went to the blind side, I used to take the code and sit it right on the corner of the Another door. truck? Oh, no, in front of the dock. Oh, okay. So on the right side, so when I would come back, I knew where to turn right. that trailer. And I caught myself in my So 21 years of experience is telling you guys, you need to stop trying to back up where there's nowhere to back, uh, where there's spaces open. If you're at a truck stop with five spaces open, 
there's a great chance you're not going to get into any of those parking spots. Use a landmark like a one truck right there and park beside it, but use that landmark and you'll you'll have an easier time. Yeah. And that's great advice. Know, know, your, know your distance and your space. Know your distance with your space and using another truck as a landmark Correct. is helpful. Or anything on the ground or anything that you can spot going into a dock, for example. Uh-huh. If you can find a landmark or a or somebody had spit on the ground or whatever. Ah, visualize a cone or see a crack so on the road. Exactly. Other trucks of other trucks that went through the parking lot, a new parking lot. And you can see where they went in the dirt or how they went. And a lot of drivers, they just, they just don't pay attention. Slow down. Yeah. Slow down. And a lot Small of these trucks movements. are all automatics. And right. you've got to learn to adjust your foot. Oh, interesting. Trucks, and they just don't pay attention. No, oh, thank you so much. See, that's going to be helpful. You just helped a lot of people. Take care. Yes. Yeah. All, right. All right. So overall, I thought that was pretty good advice. Uh, use a landmark when you're out there. When you're in class, you're going to be. They're going to be using a cone as a landmark but when you're in the real world you're not going to have a cone when you're at a dock or when you're at a parking spot you might have to use another truck right next to you as a landmark you might have to use a trash can you might have to use a crack on the road as a landmark so that's good advice make sure before you go into a parking spot to eye out a landmark a spit on the ground like the gentleman said gum on the ground, a trash can, something, and that will help you visualize where you need to be to get your trailer into that parking spot. I'll take a banana. You want a banana? Boss man, I need your help on something. Basically, man, helping all the new truck drivers in the world, man. What's what's the one tip, the aha moment you have for backing up? You know what I'm saying? Because they heard enough from me. They want to know, man. Like, um, what's one thing? Because you know, we always hear the same thing when we looked on YouTube. We look everywhere. It's always make sure you go out and look. But sometimes we'd be out there a thousand times looking. And we're still scared, we still don't know, you know what I'm saying? Is there anything that you go by that really helps you when you back up? Uh, for me, it's, um, it would probably be um, just finding a spot that's, that's a structure spot, say if like I'm backing into this little area right here. Right, right, right. I would probably use this picture as a guide. Right, right, right. I, mean? I hear what you're saying. You know what I mean? So like a cone, like yeah. like back when we were in school and stuff. Right, right, right. So that that probably would be, and you know what? That's actually what I do too. Yeah. That's cool, man. I appreciate that. Thank yep. you, man. You too. Have a good yeah, one. Yeah. Excuse me, boss. Sorry. Quick question, man. I, I do things to help truck drivers out there. What's the number one advice for backing up that you could give? Like, that's helpful. You know what I mean? Like, what do you use that helps you the most when backing up? Get out and look. Get out and look? Get out and look. How many times should they look? Well, at least once. Yeah, I know. At least get it. Well, all right. If you're a rookie, three right, times. Right, right. Okay, so what happens when you're out there and you're looking hella times and you, the trailer's still doing this? What is there any advice, like a mental advice, too, that you would say is very helpful that kind you're of turning the wheel too much you're turning the wheel too much so what what should they do because i remember when i first started i had that problem too of course well because they teach you in school turn it all jack it all the way to right jack it all the way to left that doesn't teach you crap so people out there man so when you're backing up don't turn the wheel so much exactly watch the damn trailer and by the way, the other part is, you're also driving your trailer. You're not driving your tractor. Wait up, real quick, can you explain that concept? Because that might be an aha moment for people. I know what you're talking about. You're, so, pushing, you're pushing your trailer back. 
It doesn't matter what the what your tractor is doing. Mm. You're looking in that mirror. You're, tra you're you're backing that trailer. You're not you're not playing. You're, you're trying to push the tractor to push the trailer. Mm. Which means you're driving right now the trailer. I hear what you're saying. So that's the mindset, people. Is a lot of you out there, and it happens to a lot of us new people, is when we're backing up, we're backing up the tractor, and we see the tractor all over the place, yeah. trying to back it into the hole. Yeah. And next thing you know, the trailer's all over the place. Yep. You got to be backing up the trailer. That's right. Not the tractor. Yeah. That's great advice. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. Right. Today, I'm trying to help people. Um, so... A lot of these new guys coming out. I'm a new guy too. I've been owner operator for about eight, eight years myself. Sure. Bed bugging. So I consider myself still new. You know, every day we're learning. Yeah. But the new guys are coming out and they're looking at guys like me and they're trying to learn from us. And I'm noticing they're looking at YouTubes, they're looking at all these places, and there's a lot of bad advice that sure. these guys are getting, you know. And so today the biggest problem I think we're still facing is these guys are coming out and they're not getting enough training, but they don't know how to back up. Right. So, is there any tip, like a real tip that you yourself, a secret tip that you use that helps you just, like an aha moment, you know what I'm saying? That kind of helps you uh, back up and... Yeah, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta put your everything in the angles. Angles, wait up, what do you mean by angles? See, yep. now you're talking, see, I like this. So, what, Everything's what, angles. So can you give me an example, like what, what you mean by that? Well, first off, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, when you, when you pull up beside trucks and there's a parking spot open between two trucks. Right. There's three things I always look at. How far the trucks are parked up, how they're parked. Mm. See, you know what I mean? If one's pulled a little bit further than the other and one's back a little bit. If you can even make that if they have cattle guards on, yeah. you know what I mean? There's only a certain amount of room you can back up. That's one of the things I look at is what trucks I'm backing up next to, mm. what they are, you know? So I look up that. Then I look up the space between the trucks parked across from you and the truck where you're backing up in. Mm. So your angle, when you, when you pull up to a, a spot, I was always taught, to look how what the distance is. So because you have your turning radius to get into the spot, if you have plenty of room, like you have enough room to then you can forty five degree angle your truck into the back into that which makes it easier. The less space between the trucks across the, from you yeah. and there. Then you got ninety degree. <laughs> then, yeah, you got you, well not necessarily ninety, but yeah, you gotta start you start, start angling it more like you know what I mean? And so then, okay, so and then then the distance. So don't interrupt. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I have a question for your French toast. I can go yeah. ahead and stop it. Texas or white toast? Uh, white toast is fine. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. So and then once you once you figure out the distance, you pull up further, right? So mm -hmm. the distance, how long it takes you to back into that, is your angle. So if you if you're if you're in a tight situation, you want to pull your truck further up so you have enough room to angle the front of your truck so it backs up smoothly into the spot. So the less space that you physically have, the, the, more, the more you want to drive further up from the spot. If you can, yeah. If you can. So the less, in other words, the less space you have in angling, that means the closer to that 90 degrees you're going to have to go. I understand. You know what I mean? Okay. So and. <clears throat> The technical, it's it's really the technical is that the back of your trailer mm. is supposed to hang up with the, the the lines. Right, 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 right. Right. Well, it's really not the back of your trailer; it's the wheels, wherever your wheels set the back of your trailer. So, what wheels would they be mostly looking at? Mostly, it's the, your the very back. Your, your driver. No, your tandem. Your tandem, but on your driver's side, all the way back, right? If no, it's a right or whatever, it just matters which like way you you're at. you want to line your rear wheel up with the line on the parking spot. Okay, yep. Because, I know what you're saying. So you aim for that. So you're looking back and you're backing up and you aim for that line with your rear wheel. Because your trailer follows, right? Right. So, but if you your wheel angles toward that line, it's not going to hit the truck beside you or behind on the other side. I get what you're saying. 
Yeah, it's kind of weird. That's how no, no, I, no, that's how I grew up driving. So, so, so when you see, okay, so when you see a parking spot, right? Yeah. The first thing you kind of do is, before you even think about what kind of uh, backing up you want to do, right? You look kind of at the distance right. to see how much of an angle you have to make. Right? That's right. Yeah. And depending on how small the area is, mm -hmm. then you drive up more. It's almost like perpendicular. Distance. Yeah, distance-wise. Right. And then. You, yeah. you know how much you got to hit. Yeah, so you got to know how long your truck is. So how, how do they get to the point of knowing how long their truck is? It's just practice? Practice. Practice. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it took me, I ain't kidding, it took me a good year. A good year? A, a good year. Of bumping dogs every day? It just every, yeah, I used to do, well, I used to do hard ones on like inches in like Chicago. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff like, I mean, now they make the spaces wider. They right, right. They used to. Like at, at docks, they never used to. Some of them are still tight. Yeah, know? yeah, I mean, because I know but, back then, like my uncle's times and all that. Yeah, they were for like forty-three foot trailers. Yeah. They weren't for fifty-three foot. Yeah. So okay, no, that's but, great advice. Yeah, and then they started making them a little water so it's a, little, a little easier. Excuse me, but um, so would you say um, for the people that are watching this and they're new and they've only been out a couple months? Oh. They shouldn't be frustrated that don't they're be, not good. Yeah, don't be worried. It just takes practice. It takes practice? Yeah, because once you get the angles down with your truck, because there's a lot in your truck. You got how well the truck turns, the turning right. radius of the truck. So it's knowing your truck first even before. Before you do it, yeah. Even before the parking. Yeah, and keep your uh, fifth wheels greased. Oh, that helps, right? Yeah, because it turns the trailer more. Yeah, because my trailer more. turns like a boat. <laughs> You know, I appreciate that, sir. You're welcome, man. Yeah, man that's Anytime, cool. Anything yeah, I appreciate that. Up new drivers for it. No, that's cool, man. Because it, it, it just takes time. No, thank you. And thank you, you. And you got to have courage. Don't be scared because you get in there and get in tight. Right. People will help you out, but you're going to run into situations where that's just, there's no other there's way. There's no one there. It. There's no other way to do it. And half the time, these people are just watching you, waiting for you to hit something. <laughs> they just, you know what yeah. I mean? Well, that's another thing, too, because the old drivers, like, yeah, so I've been driving 15 years, so yeah. a lot of the older, they'll come out and help you. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. These other guys, they don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, they do. There's a lot that do, but the new generation should. Yeah. That makes everything easier. I mean, you ain't got nothing but time anyway. Right, right. And so Why not help your, your fellow driver out? I love that. We're all the same. Out here. But I love that. It's so you guys hear that right now. Uh, <laughs> have some courage. Have some, have some cojones courage. to back up, and you got to go for it because a lot of times you're not going to have the help. But before you even start backing up, like my man said, you got to know your truck first, and that's important. People don't talk about that. You, yeah. you got to know how your truck radius is, how the truck turns, how the yes, trailer how turns. Yes, how the truck turns. Yes, how every truck could be different with that, right? Every truck's different, even with the power steering, because. The, sometimes power steering goes, you know what I mean? Right. The Volvos, Peterbilt's, they're all different. They all turn different. They're all different, and the turning rate, because they have bump stops on the, the front of the tires, too. Right. Like, you know, and, they, and back in the old days, we used to take them out. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, turn, yeah, 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 yeah. better, but back in the old days, it was tired. <laughs> you know I heard that. Mean? But, yeah, so you got to know where those in. Those bump stops, you gotta know where, how far you can actually Man, turn. Man, I feel like this backing up game is more of a mental thing at times. It is. It's, it's more, more mental. It's, it's angles because so if you can picture right if you picture yourself in a box right okay mm. and you got to back into and this is what's in my mind all the time I've that's never, what I want to hear and that's what I want to I've never had an accident I'm 1 million 500 miles 500,000 miles accident yeah. free so but I got trained by the old school drivers like, oh, you know what I mean so it was a little so big. what's this concept about this boxing that you're talking about because I want to I want to kind of hear what that is because that might help people okay so you, if you picture anything with no trucks and you're in a box right okay you, when you're pulling up and you see a spot where you got back up how big is your box so it, it's not a square box it's more like a rectangle mm, box right. right and you just you just vision you know in your mind how far the distance you got to that box. So the end of the trailer to the parking spot, you know what I mean, past the truck, and then you only got that certain amount. So if you just picture, it's kind of hard to say, but if you vision it first, before you even back up, if you vision how you angle your truck, 
like, like when I go buy a spot, right, and I go, okay, when I look at all the other trucks, first off, I already know what angle I'm going to go. I'm going to go, okay, this is 90, before I even pull up to the spot. Mm. I go, oh, well, I'm going to 45 degree yours. angle this, I'm going to 45 degree angle this, pull up and serve the thing back and back in, or I'm going to 90 degree angle it. I already know before you pull in if I can make that spot or not. So in that box is 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 that rectangle box is, is the distance, your angles, right? And, and everything, if you put your mm. blank, right? so there's no trucks around. That's, believe it or not, that's pretty much the hardest thing you can do, is back up with no trucks around. People keep on talking about that. People say it's a lot harder <laughs> it's when it's an open space, because there's no landmarks. That's right. Because I was asking yeah. a couple uh, drivers and they said, use a landmark. Yeah. And imagine it. So it's it's more about knowing your truck. Yeah. It's a, about knowing your angles. And yeah. then it's about visualizing it actually going in, right? You yes. know, that's what they say too, and, you know? go slow. You know, and everybody like, says go slow. <laughs> Definitely go slow. Don't don't play with it too much. No, nah, I mean, so when you get to the point where you're backing up and you will, right, right. to where you can pull up and pull, pull back and just turn your wheel at the same time as backing up, right, and 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 get in there without too many pull ups or anything, then you'll know. You'll you know, right. You'll start. You know what I mean? That's when you start knowing that you're getting the hang of it, right? Right, and then there'll be less wear on your steer tires. You know what I mean? Because Without a lot of money, exactly. You know, every, time exactly. You, every time you turn that truck, no. it wears that steer tire out. Yeah, I appreciate it, so, boss. No, yeah. Thanks. yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, and if you ever want to check it out, you can look up uh, my my channel's called the Asian My Show, but you can look on Google sure. and just look up Asian truck driver. Okay, <laughs> I'll pop up. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's the case, but that's what's your name again? Alex. Alex. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah great I'll stuff, that, man. Well, cool. I'm glad to help. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome.